guys, Tiffany here and welcome to Our Organic Life. So with spring in full swing, um, we're all getting ready for our gardens, we're getting our gardens ready, we're getting our tools, we're getting seeds, and um, we are excitedly getting already our first large scale garden out on our property. And so I thought that this would be a perfect time to see what is available out there. And by that, I mean I did a garden haul. Now I didn't do a garden haul from like Amazon or Walmart. I actually decided, you know what, everyone is on limited budgets right now. People are wanting to learn about gardening. Where's the best place to go with a limited budget? The dollar store. So yes, I went to a dollar store and got gardening supplies. Whether or not some of these are gonna actually stand up to the test of time, deems has yet to be determined. I'm gonna try out this stuff, but you can't you can't argue with everything being one dollar a piece. Now I didn't go to the dollar stores where things are like a set dollar amount. I went to the dollar store that is actually everything is one dollar each. So I'm gonna share with you today my dollar store garden haul. So I was actually pleasantly surprised whenever I went to the dollar store to see the little tiny garden section. I mean it was it was small, it was a wall, but they actually had a lot of stuff. So one of the first things that caught my eye was something that I could use with our vertical garden. We are gonna we're planning on growing vertically a lot of squash, melons, and of course tomatoes you're gonna have to stake. So one of the things that I saw that caught my eye was this twist tie set. Now this is 75 feet of twisty tie and it came with a cutter as well. And um, another thing that I also found that kind of went with this is flexible tie. So I'm gonna try out both these. Unfortunately, this is only 16 and a half feet. This is 75 feet. So I'm gonna get, I mean, for a dollar, 75 feet of twisty ties that I can use. My only hesitation is that it's very, very thin. I like that this has a very large area. It's not like thin and sharp where it could cut a stem. So we'll try out both of these um, and see how they go. So yeah, I got two different types of uh, ties for uh, oops, ties for growing, for uh, staking and tying up my vertical vines um, and tomatoes. So I'm excited to see try those out. Next thing I saw, and um, we use a soil blocker to start our seeds. So we kind of eliminate the need for pots because we literally compress the soil into squares with an indention in the top and we plant our seeds in there and it kind of helps with uh, avoiding um, root binding, or root getting the plants going root bound. Uh, it, I actually like it better. But sometimes there are instances wherever a pot is useful, and I find that it's kind of difficult to find pots for an affordable price. Normally, um, they can actually get kind of pricey. Um, some being as cheap as a dollar to two dollars per pot, plastic pot, growers, nursery pots, unless you can get in it with the bulk orders, which some people can't handle bulk, bulk orders. They don't need that many pots. And they had, this is, uh, these are starter pots, so they're not huge, but they're excellent for getting your plants started. And this is a set of 12 for a dollar. 12 pots for a dollar. I have not found that good of a price anywhere. Now, please, if you know a place where you can get pots for a better price without ordering huge scale bulk, please let me know because I mean that's less than 10 cents a pot so and they're plastic so you can you can continue to reuse them every season but this will be perfect I'm gonna let Leon plant some plants of his own in these and use them so that was another cool thing we had originally whenever we first started working on starting our seeds gotten some plant markers from Amazon and I was kind of disappointed when they came in because they were literally like this tall and this narrow, they were really, really, really small and I could barely get the information. I had to abbreviate the names of all of my plants because I just could not write them out. And whenever I went online to look, it was like, it wasn't like expensive, but I really didn't want to, it was I needed to order them and I kind of like waived my costs. And then I found these. It's a pack of 10 and they're pretty good size. Now, um, these were a dollar for 10 of them and uh, I got 10 packs because <laughs> I'm basically I'm not gonna label each individual plant I have plants that are 
the same plants in a certain area. So I'll, I'll label each cluster of plants. But um, came out to 10 for a dollar and I got to 100, so it would be 100 for $10. Now, Amazon did have these same ones, um, and I think it was like 11 or $12, plus shipping, plus waiting for 100. So, $10 for 100, or I mean, I guess 10 for a dollar, and to already have them, I think that was a really good deal. So I got 10 of those, so I got plenty of space to write out the names of the plant, where I got the seed. That's another thing that I'm really paying attention to is that this year I am paying attention to the seeds that I got, how they germinated, how they did, how I liked them, of course, because I'm actually trying out a lot of new varieties this year. And so I want to know where I got those seeds from so that I can go back and order them again if they were successful. Back to the pots. They had these really cool pots that I had gotten that are bottom water pots and they have these slots here so you basically set up your plant up top and then there's a chamber down here that you pour the water into here and what's great about that is you basically let the plant decide when it wants to be watered so as the soil dries out and the plant needs more water it the soil will wick the moisture the water up into the soil so that the plant can have access to it so these are actually really cool um, I do like to have house plants, so these are perfect for inside. They came in a variety of colors. I like the terracotta color. I like the simple neutral colors. I might spray paint these white at some point, um, but for now they're really nice contrast to my greenery. You see, I love my, my, my mural wall and my white, my, my, my light gray walls. So, dollar a piece. Pretty good price. Another pot that I found, this. It says flowers and garden, and it is metal. It's kind of got that, that French cottage feel. I think it is so cute. Um, like I said, I have a lot of house plants in the house, and uh, I mean, just look at that. That looks so cute. I love that. So I got two of them. Obviously, as you saw, I got two of them, and uh, I can't wait to use these in the decor of our future house. Obviously, whenever you're growing food, you're gonna need something to harvest that food. So I found these. So you've got serrated pruning shears, pointed tip shears, and bypass pruning shears. Now, once again, whether or not they'll stand up to the test of time has yet to be determined. But for a dollar, even if I get a year's use out of them, that's pretty good. So this is going to simplify things. I cannot wait to use these in the garden and uh, see how they do. And I'll definitely, if you guys follow our channel and subscribe, um, I'm going to start putting these to use and I will give an update later on as to how they're doing. So that was my haul for today. Obviously there was a lot more stuff there. So be sure to take a, take a chance and go down to your dollar store and look around and see what um, garden supplies have every dollar store is different every dollar store has all different kinds of things i saw small size trellises signs decor there was another there was a bunch of other varieties of pots that i just didn't grab there's even small rectangular planters um there was even little stake in the ground small garden fence sections there was just all kinds of things that could be that someone else might find useful that i just didn't find useful as i said i got things that i felt what i would actually really use be sure to hit that subscribe button ring that bell so you get notifications when we post new videos and leave a comment down below if you have any suggestions for any other places that you have found quality budget level gardening supplies because of course whether or not you are you are a seasoned gardener or if you are a new gardener right now obviously everyone's on a budget and we need to maximize our food for our buck so good luck starting your garden i can't wait to see your results be sure to share them with me on our facebook page thank you so much for joining me